Hey buddy, it's Crazy Good Time 4 and welcome back to some more Super Smash Bros. Brawl. In the last episode, we went through All-Star, almost said classic, once again. We went through All-Star mode with the Winged Angel, Pit. Had a pretty decent uh, run, I will say, I will say that. Um, but into the, what in this episode, we'll be going through All-Star mode with Ice Climbers. Ice Climbers. So, um, I am pretty interested to see how the Ice Climbers episode is going to go. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and actually pick the palette swap. Uh, there aren't really any good ones. I, I mean, I always go with the regular one because that's like the only one I actually like. The other ones are kind of bland for me. Uh, I guess this one's not that bad. Yeah, with the yellow gloves, I think Popo has the white poncho. Um, and yeah, Nana has the black one. Oh, this is one of the, um... This is one of the palette swaps where Nana and Popo actually switch. So I'm actually controlling Nana as pl as the first player. Okay, well that's cool. I'm down for that. We don't really see this much, really often. I can't zoom in at all. That's whack. Okay. Kinda wish you could zoom in a little more in all-star mode. Or at least in, um... The... Uh, what's it freaking called? The rest area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Ice Climbers, uh, from what I can tell, have... An all right amount of trivia, but it's not like all that much. So I can actually like hold off on talking about it a little bit. Or I don't have to like rush at some point. Nice, Gray Fox. I love Gray Fox. Easily one of the best uh, assist trophies out there. Get him. Or get her. Hey, that's it. <sighs> Wish Gray Fox could do a little more. That'd be awesome. All right. Luigi is dead. Okay. Did not expect that. Hey, and they're actually killed. Sure. Oh, there's, there's the blast box. Wait, what the heck? How did the blast box get, you know, destroyed so quickly? I have no clue, but something something happened. That's all I can say. I should get my phone even ready, you know, for trivia. Just in case the time actually comes around for it. I actually might read a little bit after this match. Because why not? Actually, the, the next match is Ice Climber, so I guess that fits kind of well. They actually almost killed Diddy Kong, by the way. That was a dash attack, too. So I'm pretty I'm I'm pretty surprised that the dash attack actually does so much with ice climbers. Oh, I was I thought he hit the spike or he was going to. That's a shame he didn't. Forward smash. Where is he going? <gasps> sicker, sicker. Thank you. I hope he didn't get that. I'm pretty sure I got it. So I think we're chilling. I like the spikes they have in their boots. I mean, it makes more sense for for ice climbing or mountain climbing. So where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, along with Pokemon Trainer Diddy Kong and Jillipuff, uh, the Ice Climbers are one of the only characters to have a unique defeated slash no contest pose different from the traditional hand clapping, with their head down while rubbing their eyes, making it seem as if they were crying. This pose is a reference to the one they make an Ice Climber after failing in a bonus level. If one looks carefully, Nana can be actually seen smirking while crying with- while crying while Popo is frowning. This is fixing ultimate. I thought that was like intentional for a second. I'm like, ah, that's funny. I don't know why Nana would be smirking. That'd be, that'd be actually really hilarious if like it was actually intentional. Um, like for Nana to be smirking. I mean, even if it, even, even it, yeah, even if it isn't intentional, it's still pretty freaking funny. Like the fact that, you know, they lost and went on and Nana just like crying, but also smirking. That's funny as heck. I like that. I never actually noticed it, but hey, now that it's actually a th you know, now that I know it's an, it's a thing that happens, might actually try to check it out next time. Next time ice climbers are played in a match and also are defeated, ice climbers I feel like uh, might be a little difficult to actually you know do this with. I'm actually not the most experienced with ice climbers like at all. I mean, yeah, if I like if I get some good hits in, they should die pretty fast. But at the same time, it's like, it's a matter of, you know, controlling both Ice Climbers and making sure I'm like in control of both of them throughout the entire, you know, th throughout the entire episodes. Also, I really like that, how, um, uh, what's it freaking called? Ganondorf, like, I think, wait, did Ganondorf, like, grab, no, Ganondorf grabbed Popo, right? I actually don't freaking know. Ganondorf grabbed one of us. And then the other one was able to attack him. So it's a good thing they like still have that as a thing in 
they actually kept that as a thing in Brawl from Melee. Because in Ultimate, Ice Climbers are nearly as good. <laughs> Not nearly as good as they used to be. I mean, like, yeah, there are some parts of them that are actually quite nice. Like, I know her their up air is much better in, in the newer game. In Ultimate. Like, I really like the Ice Climbers up air in Ultimate. It, ju it just works better. I think it's more powerful, actually. Um... But in the earlier games, you know, if you were to get grabbed, then the other Ice Climber could actually, like, help you out of it. In Ultimate, if one gets grabbed, the other is just like, yo, what's going on? <laughs> like, they can't do anything. I Well, that's if the second player would get grabbed, I think. Or if the first player would. The second player wouldn't do Jack, but I don't know what would happen if the second player got grabbed. Is it possible for the second player to get grabbed? Probably. No, that would make sense. It would make no sense if they couldn't grab it. If they couldn't grab the second one. Um, anyways, in, in stamina mode, it is possible for the partner to die before the leader. That's actually... How did I get hit from that? Okay. Um, regardless of whether this happens or not, the partner will lay on the ground motionless, but not blink red. In stamina mode, if, you know, you were to die... Um, then you would actually be on the ground motionless and blink red. But apparently if the second player dies before the first one, before the leader, uh, then they wouldn't blink red. So, pretty interesting. I guess that kind of like shows that they're not fully dead. Just like they're kind of waiting for the main one to die uh, before they can actually start blinking red. It's kind of like a coding thing. It's like this won't happen unless, you know, both are dead or whatever. Oh, yep, definitely gonna get the Pokeball, because that's kind of nice to just have. What is it, Staryu? I'll take it. Oh, that's a Chimera. That is a Chimera, and I am letting Ness piss. No! No! <laughs> Dang it, Nana, why'd you do that? I, wait, what did I do? Why did I, like, go into the Chimera's mouth? That was the dumbest decision on my part. It was dumb enough letting Nana die. Oh, sorry, Popo die. Sheesh, I'm so used to Nana being the second player. Um, I was kind of like... <laughs> it was dumb enough letting Popo die. And then letting myself die from the Chimera. Like, that's dumb as heck. I don't know what I was doing. I think I just really wanted Ness to just, like, go into... <gasps> Are you kidding me? Again? Yo. Chill the heck out. For the past however many... Um, uh, episodes. I have not had the Chimera spawn at all. And now all of a sudden in Ice Climbers, yeah, they're spawning. Sure, because that's fair. Please, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness I was able to hit him before he went back to normal. Oh, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. I got to freaking continue. Hopefully I can still get 200,000 points. But that honestly depends on like multiple things. It really does. I mean, one of, really the biggest thing, the biggest thing is like the amount of damage I, I actually, you know, put into the run. If I get a lot of damage and I can get 200,000 easy peasy. Which since when did I die? It was like, what, roughly mid all-star mode? So not even that bad. Oh, if I spiked him, that would have been awesome. I know there's like a really cool thing to do where you when run and grabs the opponent. Does like a down throw, and then right after the down throw, like sends them up, the other one jumps up and spikes them. It's really cool. I don't know how to do it because I don't know how to play Ice Climbers. <laughs> so, but if I did, I would definitely try it out. I would actually. Ugh! How did I not spike? That's bullcrap. Probably has to be like with the tip of it or something. Yeah, it's gotta be with the tip of the hammers. Because I, I was, I think I was hitting with like the hilt. I mean, no, hammers don't even have hilts. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, if the partner is caught in a trapped final smash and the leader is KO'd, the partner will disappear, leaving the opponent attacking nothing. Some examples are Ikes, Meta Knights, Lynx, and Two Lynx, and they also provide a, uh, um, a link to that where you can see it. But it's actually pretty, it's pretty funny. I've seen it more uh, with Ike's Final Smash than any than anyone else, but I have seen it with like Lynx and Toon Lynx and I think Meta as well. But Ike's is like the most well known, where you can kill the other opponent, the, the other Ice Climber, and then trap the second one with you know, and then all of a sudden they just disappear and Ike's like attacking nothing. It's funny as heck, but I do like uh, I do like seeing it, cause it's, it's just so goofy but funny. I like it's it's nice. That's all I'm gonna say. 
All right, Sonic, let me just kill you and then I can be more trivia. What the heck? What was that? Why did he go the other way? Why did he go the other way? Oh, crap, crap. We're fine. Yeah, don't even try with that warp star. Dude thought he was so clever. So cute with that. Um, both ice climbers must win a micro game in the WarioWare Ink stage to be rewarded. That sounds kind of annoying, honestly. So, uh, I'm uh, glad that I don't normally play as ice climbers. And on top of that, don't normally play on WarioWare Ink. Because I would have to deal with that and that'd be so stinking annoying. Like, just imagine being able to easily, like, get through a micro game and then all of a sudden you lose because the other one didn't, like, do anything or didn't win it with you. It's so dumb. That's one- that's- that's one of the biggest reasons why I don't like using Ice Climbers. It's because you have to, you know, rely on both of them for, like, everything. When you go solo, I mean, thing, some things get easier, some things get harder. So it's like, there's pros and cons to, like, both duo Ice Climber and solo Ice Climber. That's the problem. Uh, anyway, certain final smashes, especially trapping ones, can cause the trailing Ice Climber special effects to be slowed down under the effect of a timer. Nana's, Nana's stays after, even after the timer is done. The, effect end, the effects end when one or both of the Ice Climbers are KO'd. Trailing Ice Climbers? I actually don't know what the heck that means. Trailing Ice Climbers? I, I assume it probably means like the ice? That would make more sense, but even then... The trailing ice climber special effects, or like this, maybe it's just the special effects like from a final smash. That might be it. That would honestly make that was a good hit, and that was a good hit. Very nice. Uh, do do do. When CPU controlled, if one ice climber is star KO, the partner will sometimes taunt. Yeah, I've seen that so many times. It's so, it's the funniest thing. I don't know why the partner just taunts after their after the leader is just like KO'd or star KO'd. It's uh, it's so random, but I love it. Kind of shows that the CPU just does not care. Get out of here, Wario. Oh, I thought I was going to spike him. I don't even know why I thought I was going to spike. Kind of stupid. Oh, hello, Pokeball. I'll definitely take you. But I was like, go! Wow, really? I'm throw killed. Okay, sure. I guess I'm not complaining. Uh, Brawl is the only game where the portraits of the Ice Climbers are not swapped around when... Nana is in the lead. The only game where their default uh, color is not available in team battles and the only game where Nana takes the lead in all even numbered costumes. The only game, so I mean the only other one they will be talking about is of course Ultimate because that's the only other Smash game where the Ice Climbers are actually available because in Smash 4 they didn't come back. They were actually planned for Smash 4, uh, believe it or not. But uh, I think because like the 3DS's uh, limited capabilities, they couldn't. Like they, the 3DS couldn't handle ice climbers or something. Luckily though, Ultimate is, you know, on the Switch, which is a really powerful console, and ice climbers are characters that can be handled pretty well. It's actually, there's a lot of me, part of me was like, for the longest time was like, oh, Bonsai again, okay, sure. What the heck was that? What, I, did you hear that? Was that ice climbers or what? I heard like, Mishu! That It was adorable, but like, Where's that bonsai? It might have been bonsai, because I don't think the ice climbers make those sounds. Yo, I'm destroying everyone with bonsai, it's amazing. Uh, let me just go, yep! Ah, too far. Dang it. That kind of sucks. Get out of here. I'm getting my Dragoon. Oh, bonsai's gone, dang it. Uh, very nice. And now just Charizard. I'm gonna wait a second, and he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Very, very cool. All right. With that, that's uh, that's that battle and just one more to go. All right. And we might as well finish up the trivia as well. We have three bits left. Jeez. Um, if the leader dies in stamina mode without losing all his slash her stamina, the partner won't disappear and can keep playing normally. This was later fixed in Ultimate. Oh, that's interesting, actually. That is actually pretty cool. Wow, okay. Uh, if the leader loses his slash her stamina after the partner has been KO'd, but he slash she didn't lose all their stamina in stamina mode, the partner will respawn in the middle of the stage, but still will be defeated. Wow, okay. That's a pretty interesting bit. A lot of stuff like, you know, the partner, like, action, the partner's actions relying on what happens to the leader. And final bit, the Ice Climbers, Ganondorf, Meta Knight, Mr. Game Watch, and Samus are 
the only characters whose icon and the emissary and the sticker menu is not based on their renders as mentioned before like was it three times now yeah three times and we're gonna see it like what two more times yeah sheesh i mean yeah it's an interesting bit of trivia but and i'm still gonna read it just because it, it adds to the trivia and i think it just you know interesting to talk about dang it really wow that score is bad sheesh I guess I, I guess I gotta continue a little too later on than anticipated. That kind of sucks. It is a nice Final Smash trophy though. I do kind of like how it looks with the, um, the sky looking really nice. That's a good Final Smash trophy. All right, with that, Ice Climbers is gonna be playing and the Ice Climbers route is finished. Now it's just a matter of reading the Final Smash trophy and finishing off. Ice Climbers was fun. Um, I, obviously, I'm not the biggest Ice Climbers, you know, player. Uh, I don't really like playing them all too much, but they're all right. I'm gonna say that. They, I will give credit where credit is due. Ice Climbers are a pretty good character. Plus, they're like the second best character in Brawl, so that kind of adds to it. That's kind of funny. What the heck? I didn't even know it was Donkey Kong over there. <laughs> it's like, oh, the, uh, you know what? This must be like a reference to um, the Yeti. How, you know, ice climbers climb, you know, icicle mountains. And icicle mountains usually have, like, you know, Yetis. And I think that Donkey Kong Palace Swap is, like, supposed to resemble a Yeti. So it's kind of funny um, that they did that. It's just nice. I don't know why I like it so much. It's fun. I don't know why Nana's celebrating. Popo's just like scared for his life and Nana's is like, hey. <laughs> you know what it is? It's because Nana's ha Nana has a super mushroom. So she can easily just like destroy that Donkey Kong. No, no challenge whatsoever. That's probably the reason why. 100%. All right, let's go to Ice Climber. Uh, right, right there. Iceberg. The Ice Climber's final smash. This giant ice, co ice mountain appears in the middle of a stage. It's incredibly slippery, so it's hard to control yourself when traversing it. In addition to being slick, this ice is also cold. So opponents will take damage just from touching it. Attack the ice and it will take damage and slowly shrink. Really? I did not know that. Is it actually useful? That's a mystery. And the game is Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Wow, I did not know you can actually attack the ice and like it will shrink. That's cool. Wow, okay. I never knew that until just now. Okay then, cool. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, nice, get it? Good joke. Uh, but with that, that'll be it for today's episode of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll be going through All Star Mode with. Rob, the Chad himself, the best, the best robot in all of Nintendo. Well, is he the best? Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. There's some good robots here and there, but Rob, Rob is where it's at, 100%. Uh, so subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Social media, including Twitch, of course, down below in the description. And I'll be see you guys next time. Pop Tart out.